Hello everybody in today's video I would like to talk about social media storytelling and especially why it is so important to do or to think about social media storytelling especially when you try to promote your business on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn or whatever platform you can imagine where you want to promote your business on because what we tend to do is we want to promote it so bad that we are just starting to create posts. We want to tell everybody in the world about our business and we would like to also focus on so many different advantages of using our service or using our product and in the end nobody really cares about your service or your product unless you make it as relevant as possible to them and everybody makes this mistake I make this mistake all of the time that I sometimes I just post something and I don't really think about telling a story when I post something on Facebook but it's also thinking about the bigger picture and uh, trying to think about a long term story so this video is for you if you want to create posts that people can engage with that people will like and that will also score organically on social media but before we go any deeper into the subject of social media storytelling i would also like to tell you that i create videos about social media about youtube about video uh, about content marketing on my youtube channel so if you're interested in these topics you can subscribe to my channel and then you will also be notified whenever i post a video on a weekly basis so subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more tips and tricks to even promote to boost your promoting of your business even more and if you would like more tips so please subscribe and then let's go into the subject of social media storytelling the first thing that I want to talk about is why do people like stories or why do you like hearing stories and that is actually because you grew up with stories whenever you were a child you were watching Disney movies you were watching a uh, series with a lot of stories in there you were watching and you were reading fairy tales and you really got engaged by these stories and you really uh, got enthusiastic about these stories you probably still remember the most uh, your favorite uh, story when you were a child you probably still remember the story from start to finish even though you might have not seen this movie or have read this story for a long time and that is what stories do they engage you they make you feel uh, like there is something going on they make you feel enthusiastic and you really want to hear the end of the story if it's a good story and that's why uh, because we are we grew up with stories that is why it also works in marketing to tell stories so know that I've told you why stories are so important and I hope I've made you enthusiastic to become a social media storyteller as well it's time to tackle how can I create stories and although it's not easy to create stories and you have to learn how to become a more natural uh, storyteller and you have to uh, become more creative in your stories as well it's actually not as hard or difficult as it sounds and I will give you an example of how uh, you could create a post and how you could create a story out of it so I have a friend of mine who started uh, as a yoga instructor and they, he started his own business and he could create a social media post telling hey look at my website look at the hours that I give this course and he could just create that as a post but imagine if he takes one of the people that he gives classes to and tells the story of uh, of this person and why she loves the yoga classes and maybe tells about the advantages that she gained out of the yoga classes and then tells you that you can also gain these advantages by uh, uh, attending his class at this and this hour this makes a very much better story and a more relatable story so it's it's all about the small details and telling about uh, the uh, story about your business and the people that you 
you actually have serviced before with your business. Another example is for, for example, if you go uh, to an event or a congress, you can just take a picture and tell uh, and uh, put a message in the copy saying that you are at this event and that you have learned so much. But the other thing that you could say is, hey, I'm at this event, uh, this guy was just speaking about this and this topic and I've learned this and this and I didn't, re I didn't think that I would learn so much, but actually this and this was very interesting. And so, and this way you actually create a small story uh, around your social media post and people are more likely to also engage with that post instead of just putting a picture there and bragging that you are at the Congress conference and that you are actually learning something without saying what you have learned. Okay, so now we know how to create a story. Let's talk about how can we make it even more relevant. Because uh, the more relevant your post is towards a specific person, the more likely they are going to engage with your post and the more likely they are also actually going to buy your service or how more likely they are actually going to, uh, to, to be your customer in the future. So how can we make it even more relevant? And that's actually thinking about how, who am I telling the story to? Uh, an example that I always give in the workshops that I give is, for instance, imagine that there is a girl that is uh, that has been on, on on holiday and she's telling the story of her holiday to her friends and she's telling about all the parties she's been to, the beach parties and maybe she's also telling all of her friends about that one night stand that she had uh, during this one drunken night. But imagine the same girl telling this story also to her parents. Maybe even if the parents are open-minded, maybe she still is going to tell the story in a bit of a different way. She's going to focus more on the sites that she's seen and she's going to tell maybe about the partying, but maybe she's not going to mention the one night stand. But even the same girl, if she goes to her job the next day and her boss asks uh, how the, the holiday went, she's also going to tell a different story. But these are all the same story. It's all about the same holiday. And still she is telling a different story regarding who she is telling it to. And that's the same thing that you have to do with your company. You have one big story of your company, but you have to try you have to try to uh, make it more relevant and try to think about who am I talking to. Maybe this is still a bit vague, but let's go back to my friend with a yoga class. Uh, yoga, uh, there are so many advantages about yoga and he could tell a story about a hundred advantages that yoga has. But these hundred um, uh, advantages are not relevant to everybody. For instance, for a, peop uh, for a person who is a bit older, uh, it might be because they have a lot of pain in the muscles, um, they might uh, do yoga just to become more fit or to uh, be in movement a bit more. But for somebody who's young, it's more about the mindfulness, it's more about uh, she has stress from work and she wants to uh, uh, relax and that's why she's doing yoga. And so there's somebody else who does it for other advantages. And if you can tell this story in these kinds of way and make different posts for different kinds of people that you try to target, try to limit the story that you try to tell. So instead of telling 100 of advantages in one post, try to make it as relevant to one person so that they can relate to the post or the story that you're trying to tell. So to make them more relevant, you have to think about who you're talking to. And a lot of businesses, they work with buyer personas, but actually it's not that simple because uh, if you create buyer personas, you really have to do a lot of research and sometimes if you are a small business, that is not that easy and you're just going to uh, imagine somebody and you're, it's not based on facts. So sometimes it's just easier to think about the goals that uh, might have in life, the frustrations that you can help them with and maybe try to create posts and think about how can my post help them uh, gain their goal or maybe how can my post get rid of their frustrations or, or how does my business help uh, attain their goal or at, uh, get rid of their frustrations and create stories around that. So uh, I hope that I've already engaged you and made you enthusiastic about 
telling your story but I want to end this video with another story to make you even believe more in the power of storytelling and as uh, for this story I want to take you back to your childhood and probably you might remember going to a puppet show uh, and here in Belgium and I think everywhere in the world uh, one of the most famous uh, stories in the puppet show is actually the story of Little Red Riding Hood and if you remember that story you might also remember the moment that Little Red Riding Hood is entering Grandma's house and uh, she's standing by the bed and all of the children in the room are standing up screaming No, Little Red Riding Hood, no don't do it, it's the, it's the wolf, don't, uh, fool, don't, be, don't get fooled by the wolf So everybody is trying to help Little Red Riding Hood because she is the hero, she's the protagonist in the story and that is why everybody wants to help her uh, achieve her goal which is uh, bringing food to her grandma and helping her not get killed at the same time. So if you are very good in telling stories you can become the protagonist in your story and actually people that are fan of your company will help you gain your goals as a company. So that is the story of the story. Uh, that is the power of storytelling. And to prove this point, you can actually watch um, the story of PewDiePie against T series. Uh, everybody believes in the story of PewDiePie, so everybody is trying to help him gain more subscribers every single day, so that. Uh, he doesn't get beaten by the big bad wolf which is T-Series. So that is the end of my video. I hope you liked the content of it. I hope you liked the story that I tried to share with you in this YouTube video today. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up because that will help me spread my story to more and more people. And if you really liked it as well, then you can also subscribe and I will see you in the next story that I'm going to share here on my YouTube channel. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.